Alright, <clears throat> hello chat. I'm not late. You're late. What do you think about that? I was here six minutes ago. Where were you? That's my question. Where were you? Anyway. <laughs> hello, Maverick, Jess, Lego, uh, Proto, Tidbit, Silver, Aniket. There we go. That one really wanted to explode. That one was a little scary. We're here. I also might be a little late to turn the mic on because I had to grab a, a jacket because it's freezing in my room and I'm not sitting here <laughs> freezing my ass off for three and a half hours while trying to wrap up a speed run of Metal Gear Solid. It's not happening. I'm not doing that. Anyway, I think I'm ready to just go straight in. We... I don't remember where exactly. Oh, I think we were about to do Vulcan Raven. If you haven't been here in general, we've been doing the uh, the Fox codename run. I think it's called a codename, right? 
like the rank that you get at the end. Um, it's the last thing I need to do. And thankfully, there are many, many ways to make it easier on myself. Yeah, we were just about to do Vulcan Raven. However, problem is, uh, you see my health there? Well, I can't die. Uh, if we die, we have to load the save. And also, I can't use rations. They are just flat out, they're, they're not allowed. I can't use them. Have I heard of the Java phone port of DMC3? I have not. There's a Java Welcome, phone Cossack. port? This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Why is the game so loud? It's not this, just me, right? They agree. Maybe it Ravens is. aren't scavengers like most people. It looks loud on stream, too. Returning to the natural world is it fox, loud? It seems no loud. Needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> big boy. But that was no true battle. Tiny bit. It's a little loud. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? No. Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't feel loud. It's loud for me. Unlike my normal headphone settings. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. I do. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muktuk eating contest. Yes, you are right. Hold on. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours Hold on. will be a glorious battle. This isn't I have learned what Muktuk is. Killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. I need to know if it's good beyond this. Hold on. Uh, muktuk is a traditional food of the peoples of the Arctic, consisting of whale skin and blubber. It is most often made from the uh, bowhead whale, although the beluga and the narwhal are also used. It is usually consumed raw, but can also be eaten frozen, cooked, or pickled. I'm looking at pictures of it. It doesn't look awful. Like it's when you read it, you're like, I don't know, like if raw blubber would taste that good. Oh, hold on. Many people find the taste of muktuk to be extremely repulsive. It's a fascinating dish. But it certainly can't be described as mouthwatering or delicious or anything of the sort. Wow. That is... Whew. That is, uh... What? A scathing review. Have you seen the MGS2 Foxhound requirements? No. Should I be worried? I have one Claymore. And no radar. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. 
very- it can't be much worse than this, right? It can't be. Oh, is it this, but with limited saves? Okay, that might be worse. Because, like, at least with this, you can save pretty much as much as you want. Well, supposedly there's a limit somewhere in the ballpark of 80 saves. But really, like, you, if you saved every time you got to a new room, you still probably wouldn't use that limit. Body armor to try to prolong the fight if I do something stupid. I get one Claymore to put down. Bro, I have no idea where he is. Hold on. Uh, video and sound. Jesus, I have to do this on the actual thumbstick. D-pad doesn't work because PC port nonsense. I found him. I'm just gonna put it there and I'm gonna remember that it's there. Definitely won't forget. Oh, it already hit him. So that means he's going that way? Shit. This fight's gonna be a pain in the ass. This is gonna be so... Like, I don't have the radar to rely on. I have no claymores. I'm just gonna have to do it with Nikita. And even then, I've got like, uh, 15 of these left. Where is he? And the audio is relative to Snake rather than relative to the missile. So I have no idea where the hell he is. Hold on. God damn it. It's not my fault. Uh, that... That's not my fault. For the record. That, uh, had nothing to do with me. Remember that time I asked you to play a hat in time? It's not happening. It's not. At least not for a while, probably. I got so many other things on the list. I don't see anybody else to blame. What about the big big boy with the minigun? What do you mean there's no one else to blame? What do you mean? Oh, sweet Jesus. That time is good though. I don't like platformers very much. It's not my thing. You know, it's like Persona is supposed to be amazing, but... Okay, that time he actually shot it. That time he actually shot the missile in my... F okay, can we all... Can we all agree on this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But hello, Oscar. What would be fun is also having an ammo used requirement for the named rank. No, that would not be fun. Don't know what you're talking about. He blew me up that time. That one was legitimately not me. But yeah, this fight with, uh, with so little resources, it's gonna be rough, man. Wow, that was fast reaction.
It's fine. Thank God we can save for this. Thank God. Ugh, could you imagine if you couldn't save for this? Like with all the speed running shit that I tried to, to well, that I did use to get here, like all the speed run skips and tricks to get here with like uh, a good amount of time remaining. And just the amount of damage and deaths that I took trying to do those. And then, like, you factor in fights like this. Shit, I thought maybe the timing would work out. Um, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm lucky. Oh, we're so boned. Oh, we're so boned. How'd you play Hollow Knight? I like uh, Metroidvanias. I don't like, like, platformers platformers. Because, like, with Hollow Knight, the people who were there for it will remember that when I was doing, like, boss fights and, you know, like, getting new items and abilities and stuff, I was having a great time. When I was doing just, like, the raw platforming, not so much. Okay, that's some damage. That's also some damage. We're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. Where is he? Oh my god. He's up here? Somewheres? Oh, there he, ah! Actually, let's do it this way. I think he's gonna be up top. Maybe not. It seems like I was wrong. Oh, another hit though! Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, he's speeding up. And that's all it takes. <laughs> that is genuinely all it takes for a run to be over. It's just for me to get unlucky enough that he has line of sight of the missile like as it comes out. If that happens, I'm just dead. Oh Jesus, we are in a rough spot. There's only one section in Hollow Knight where you need to be good at platforming, really? That's not true. You were there, Jess. You know that's not true. Because you witnessed what many sections of that game look like if you're not good at platforming. God. I don't know where he is. I have no way of actually knowing where he is. I can get like a general direction, and that's fine. That's fine. Powers and collectibles akin to Metroidvania. It's not a collectibles thing, because like Mario Odyssey bored me to tears. I, I don't, I, I, one of my hottest takes is I feel like I threw away $60 buying Mario Odyssey because it's just like, it's probably fine. But yeah, I I tried it for like a couple hours, like two or three or so. And yeah. Zoom. Do that. Uh oh. 
Oh god. I don't even have my body armor on. That was scary. This is the GOG version? Yes. Hence why the, the menus look so weird. This is the uh, the old PC port. Where the hell is he? There we are. Oh, this is a good one. Now, where is it gonna get screwed up? Is the question. Okay, he's up in the corner. Oh my god, I screwed. It's my fault. It's that one's my fault. It requires you to not heal. Yeah, I can only use one ration for the entire playthrough. And I used it in Tower B doing a speedrun skip. Where I had to hit myself with a grenade. <laughs> But that's because we only have three hours to get through the entire game. So we, we you know, we learned a, a few speed run tricks that, you know, like actual record runners use for this game to, uh, to get ourselves through. Is there a death limit? It's one. If you get one death, you lose the rank, which is why I'm exiting out and loading back in every time I die. Because that doesn't count towards your rank. Thank God. Uh, otherwise, this would be like something I spend three months trying to do. The way that it's been going so far. It would genuinely be months long for me to get through this. But uh, yeah, I, I can only die once, which is why I'm not using the continue button. No, I'm not gonna do big boss rank. It's one achievement. Uh, getting the fox rank or the big ro eh, big boss rank gets the achievement. I'm doing the slightly easier version because the only difference between the two is fox rank you get for playing on hard, big boss you get on extreme. So I said, this is already gonna be really tough. Let's just not do it on extreme. Let's do it on one difficulty lower. Oh my god. And sure enough, this has already been very tough. Like, this run just would have been dead a long time ago. Because I genuinely... Back at the tower when I... Or sorry, I genuinely would have already, like, gotten to that point of... Okay, so the body armor doesn't save me from death. Alright, no, it did. I survived a bullet earlier. I did survive. It seems like it might just be kind of random. Like there might be some variation in the damage. I don't know. Because I did survive a bullet from him earlier on one of the previous runs. I don't know. Also, um, I caught earlier someone said starting MGS2 after this. We are not. Because after this, we have VR missions. And then after that, we have Ghost Battle, and then MGS2. Unfortunately, because I, I would like to play MGS2. That sounds like a good time to me right now, but... I've got things to do first. Oh wait, first person mode is actually gonna be really nice for this. Uh oh. Snake run. Jesus. Wait a second, when you're in first person... The sound is based on the missile instead of snake in first person. This is a discovery. This made this fight so much easier. Now I can actually track him based on sound when I use this mode. Oh, what a godsend of a find. Is he going this way? Of course he is. I don't have unlimited Nikitas, man. I need you to work with me a bit here. Oh, 
That's unfortunate. I really don't have many Nikitas. <laughs> we're, we're already not doing so hot on the ammo count. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, why did the missile blow up? Who's making a version of Uno with rules from every version? Oh, I need to quit out. With rules from every version of Uno? No. Why? Also, how? How does that work? How do you... Thank God the escape key works. How do you have rules from all versions in one? How do you make that work? Uh, no bandana though. We had to start a new save file to turn the difficulty up to, uh, what's it called? To hard. Cause the original plan was to get the bandana and the uh, camouflage to do this and make it way easier. But then when I actually sat down to do it, I was met with the realization that I would need to be on a new save file because of the difficulty. It was poorly planned. Okay, that was my bad. Oh, okay. Come on now. So far, so good. Bro, how do you just whip around on it like that? Does it have to go from like further away so that it is quick boosting into him? Is that just an actual rule pretty much of how this fight works? I normally just claymore my way through this and then use like a couple Nikitas, but I don't really like rely on them like this normally. Yeah, I think they just have to be quick boosting. Whoa. Oh boy. It's changing the big plastic peripherals into cards. Oh, what? Wait, that actually sounds kind of nuts. Like, that actually sounds sweet. Unironically, that sounds like it would be really fun. I'm one of the few people, I think, that actually enjoys playing Uno. Like, legitimately enjoys playing Uno. I have a blast playing that shit. But it's, there's times where I think that maybe there's just something wrong with me, because I also like playing Monopoly. I think Monopoly is, like, the goaded board game. I think I just like to create conflict. That's all. Uh, where am I positioned right now? Oh, I'm dead. For a second, I was like, I thought I was down there. I love Uno. It's actually... Sometimes the thing with Uno is that it can go on too long, right? Like, sometimes Uno matches just never end, and that's not fun. But, like, just the aspect of playing it with some friends... And, uh, and everyone getting super pissed off at each other. I think it's fun. As long as you don't have, like, a friend that gets, like, genuinely upset. You know, there's a difference between, like, yelling at your friend for hitting you with, like, a plus eight for, and being a dick. And then actually, like, getting really pissed off about it. Like, after the game is over sort of thing. If you're playing with other people who can handle the Uno experience, it's fun. Because I have, I, I have a couple friends who are just like, yeah, we don't play those kind of games with them. <laughs> they will actually be upset for the rest of the day if they play like Uno or Monopoly or whatever. They will hold that anger, that grudge. I also love Monopoly. Is this not a common thing? A lot of people hate Monopoly because it's long and uh, everyone gets really mad at each other. 
But I think, I think it's just a really fun game. Like, I just enjoy Monopoly. I don't know, I think it's good. <laughs> I have my window cracked a little bit just for the, the air outside, because it's, it's pretty warm here. At least like Minnesota in February. I think it's like 61 today or something like that when I looked earlier in February. I don't know why it's so warm. Or sorry, it's March. Oh my God, it's March. In March. <laughs> I knew that. I don't know where he is. I have no clue where he is. I, I've lost track. Please. No. He has like a sixth sense for this shit, man. He really does. He can just smell a missile coming up behind him. Oh my god. That time it at least hit him. Why is he already running so fast? I thought it was damage based. Is it time based? Why is he already going so fast? What's wrong with him? Why is he? Oh my god. God damn it. I was like, what do I do here? I think he is going to shoot it. It's a little harder to maneuver it in first person. Oh, I Do I think they could sit down for a game of Uno instead? I think considering how much he was already hauling ass, Uno might be a bad idea. Probably. My family hates it though, so I never get to play. Um, Monopoly. I played a lot of Monopoly and Uno uh, during COVID lockdown. Because uh, what's it called? They, who is it? Is it Ubisoft that has like the, the board games on Steam? I think it's Ubi that owns them, right? Um, And so you can just go and buy like, I think Monopoly is like five bucks on Steam and I think Uno is also like five bucks on Steam. And so we all just like, right when COVID hit, we were all like, let's just get like Uno and Monopoly and like just random games. To, to play like while we're in lecture for school and stuff. Because everything was online, right? It is Ubisoft? I thought so. Terrible launcher, by the way. I hate it so much. Um, sorry. Had to, had to throw that out. But uh, we, we bought those and we played the shit out of those for a while, to be honest, especially uh, Uno. Monopoly was kind of broken, like it would crash, like someone would always disconnect or something before the game was over. Uh-oh. Okay, good enough. Claymore is busted. I only have one Claymore though, and I can't run back to get more because I have no time. Because we're doing, sorry, we're doing Fox rank for anyone who... <laughs> It's like, why is he playing the boss this way? What is happening? So like, I can't heal, I can't die. I need to finish the game in less than three hours. So I need to just like work with what I've got here and stubbornly get through this fight. I do have one Claymore. I normally use Claymores because Claymores get it done so fast. If you just throw them down everywhere. But with no radar and no claymores, this is a bitch to do, like without taking damage because of the health situation that I have for the rest of the run here. It's a little rough out here. Oh my God, he's gonna kill me. Do I just let this missile go? 
please. I should have let the missile go. It, it would have been the smart play. The spawn where he goes around the box at the bottom left first? Run there and try to catch his pattern with grenades? How many grenades do I have? Oh, I've got a bunch of grenades, actually. I don't think I've ever tried grenades in this fight. I've tried C4. I know C4 with radar can be really good. I tanked the shot. Okay, that was a little, a little, uh, it's with the rations full. I can't use the rations. I, I get one for the entire run of the game and I've already used it. I'm just stuck with this much health for the rest of the run. It's brutal. I, I mean, I did it to myself. Literally, because uh, speedrunning tricks where I had to like hit myself with grenades and stuff, but it uh, it's still a little brutal to need to do like this fight. And then we're gonna need to do like the, the Metal Gear Rex fight with this much health too. It's rough out here. What the hell is Swashplate? I saw Swashplate. Where are you? Raven? Wah! He hit me with, <laughs> with the chain gun. He just actually whacked me with the barrel. That's so funny. Uh-oh. He went up. I'm kind of just spamming them. I do still have a Claymore. Like, I do still have Nikita. I don't have to only use grenades. So I'm kind of just trying to get free hits where I can. Put this into the wall. Yeah. Oh, he didn't go that way. I thought he was gonna chase me down. Oh, he did! Never mind. Uh oh. That was a little sketchy. Is he all the way in the back? He is. Uh. Oh, okay, we're fine. Damn it. He stood there for a while. Oh, I'm dead. Shit, I thought he was gonna keep going left. <laughs> that one is on me. That one is actually on me. Snake, answer me. Snake. Snake. You can use the sniper rifle in phase two. Does it make it easy to do it without taking damage? Because I feel like with the sniper rifle, like I'm stuck in place, right? Unless there's like a safe spot or something with uh, with Rex that I don't know of. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I can be very aggressive off the, off the rip there. If I just toss down a solid handful, I could probably get a good bit. Have I ever watched Star Trek? Um, I mean, no, but yes. When I was little, I like, I know that I've watched it, but I know that when I was younger, I wasn't into it. And I don't really remember, like I was young enough that I don't remember watching it. I just kind of know that I did. I thought Star Wars was better. Oh, okay. I just gotta figure out the fact that I need to be a little more patient. Just a little bit. You snipe from bottom left, I think? So there is, like if I go in a corner or something, is what you're telling me? Uh... I can, I can actually use the sniper like safely. Cause the thing with Rex is that I can't save in the middle of it, I don't think. I have to do both phases back to back, right? Oh my God, do I have to do both phases of Rex into the liquid fist fight back to back to back with no health? Tell me the answer is no. Tell me that I have not put myself in that situation. Please, for the love of God. Well, there goes that idea. Oh, okay. Shouldn't he have been right there? Oh, he, he went somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, I see him. I overthrew that. Oh, I'm dead. I went back to fix it. I think so. Oh, my health comes back for the liquid fight? Thank God. Thank God. Oops, not new game. Because if I had to do like, like Rex one and two, I wouldn't be so worried about, but the liquid fight is so easy to, uh, to just like make a little mistake and get hit. Like the Rex fight, if you're patient is, it's almost hard to take a lot of damage during it. I'm gonna regret saying those words by the time that I get there. Once again, I'm, uh, you know, the, the grenades. The grenades work, but I think they're making me play stupid. <laughs> I, I think the grenades are um, making me dumb. Call me crazy. Yoink, yoink. Me and my one Claymore. We got this. Oh my God. He can actually smell a missile. Like he can, it's legit. Where did I put that Claymore exactly? He can smell me! I'm dead. I thought the grenade was gonna kill me, but uh, it works, it works. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on on tar teas. <laughs> There's an extra T in there. I have thoughts. I certainly have thoughts. 
as I usually do. I actually, um, because I know that a lot of the new people in stream, like as of the last month or so, are from the MGS1 video, right? Um, so I'm assuming that a lot of you have seen it. Uh, I got a comment on it yesterday that just baffled me. Because it was, actually, I might, I might pull it up and read it. It's, it's recent, so I shouldn't have to, like, scroll very far in my dashboard. Here, here, here. Yeah, I, I can find it in, like, ten seconds, so let me pull it up. Because it was just yesterday, it's not going to take much scrolling to find it. Yep, here it is. Okay. It gets off to a good start. I'm going to read it word for word. It gets off to a good start. Chloe. Nice. If you don't like the game that you are playing, then don't play it at all. Don't make people feel bad about playing a game that they love and enjoy to play. Understand? Being a massive fan of Metal Gear Solid, I advise you not to disrespect people whom like the games they play. Uh, this is from the video where I say, the title is, I played Metal Gear Solid for the first time and I was blown away. And the thumbnail says, this is outstanding. And I scored it a 9.4. But apparently I gave the vibe that I hated the game and was shitting on people who enjoy it. I don't know. I don't know. Like, the only thing that I can th think of for that comment is, like, I must have criticized something in, like, the first few minutes and been like, oh, I think this could have do been done better. And they just immediately were like, why are you shitting on people who like this game? Why are you so disrespectful? Forgot. I can't criticize. I mean... To be fair, you guys know why uh, why outlets like IGN give high scores to everything? It's because they don't want to like piss people off. They they want people who uh, who like the game to like have a review that they agree with, so that they get like a fonder opinion of them. I think you gave it a little less. I gave it a 9-4. I remember. Because I just recently looked back at it when I was doing MGS3. Because I was like, is this score super off base compared to what I've given the previous games? So I had to go and double check my other scores before I finalized it. It wasn't. I just had to be sure that I wasn't like super off. I was being very careful with the MGS3 video. Um, Cause I gave MGS3 a 9-1. And yeah, I went back to check before I put that in. And I gave MGS1 a 9-4, I gave MGS2 a 9-6. Cause I was trying to make sure that uh, that I had that right. It was mostly in comparison to MGS2, but I also was like, just to be certain. Really makes you feel like a sex-deprived army man with a banana? A banana? Oh, bandana. Fuck. I can read. It's fine. Garfield cart stream at 13k? You wish. You wish. We could do, uh, what's it? Patreon funding goal for Garfield Kart, maybe. About what to feel about it? About MGS1? MGS1 I just really liked. MGS3 I was like, I still really like it. But, 
don't like it as much as the other ones, which I was trying to word really carefully because, like, it's Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh my god, why is he already sprinting? What is happening? Okay, MGS3. This was on the MGS1 video, that, that comment. In case I accidentally said MGS3. That was the Metal Gear Solid 1 video. Where pretty much, like, I don't know, I would say like 32. Oh, you're there? 32 of like the 36 minutes of that video is me being like, this game is great. <laughs> then there's like four minutes where I'm like, this this could have been a little better, but like, it's, it's, it's whatever. The rest of it's great. One, two, five, four, three. Is that least to most favorite? Or is that most? Either way, I feel like this list is crazy compared to like common opinion that I've heard. Because it means that you either have MGS1 as your favorite and three as your least favorite. Or sorry, let me just focus in on that bit. It means that you either have MGS3 as your least favorite or MGS1 as your least favorite. Either way, this is crazy. This is a crazy list. Best to worst. Wow. Three as your least. It's bold. I respect it. So far of the three, so far my list best to worst is two, one, three. Just for the solid games. Although like, it's, that's the rating order. In terms of just like, the personal enjoyment, I, I think I like three more than one, but like it's more because I'm a gameplay guy. Like I'm a gameplay first guy. So MGS3's gameplay, great. MGS3's story, not as good as the first two, except for like the, the ending of MGS3 is just like chef's kiss. It's, it's just peak at the very end, right? Uh... And then, what's it? Oh yeah, like just some of the, the systems and stuff. I feel like we're kind of messy. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, I, I got into it in the video, like in, in depth. Bum bum bum. Three story is really weird though like compared to the first two games. Cause it really is like, for the majority of the game, the story is almost like taking a back seat to the gameplay, which for me, I don't mind at all. Um, Like that's just very, like my preference is like, if your gameplay is, is good, and then like in terms of just me replaying the game over and over, like that's, that's the big thing that I just, that's the one thing you need. Just make your game fun to play and I'll play it over and over and over. Or make Devil May Cry 2 and apparently I'll play that over and over as well. Apparently. I, you know what? Devil May Cry 2 is a testament to that actually. Because they made the rest of the Devil May Cry games so good that when I set out to become the best at all the Devil May Cry games that I can possibly be, I even included DMC2 just because of how much I enjoyed the rest. It's a testament. I play DMC2 because I enjoy the rest of the Devil May Cry games so much. Where is he? I'm dead! Oh my god, he didn't even... Was supposed to be more back to the basics like the MSX games? It feels like that. It, it, it really does feel like you kind of, you show up, like you get a setup. The, the first couple hours of the story are really good. But then once you go back for Operation Snake Eater, right? Like past that point, it's pretty much like, okay, you're here. Here's your objective. Just go and do that, like for hours. And then at, like the last couple hours again, go super story heavy. But like in the middle, um, it really just, it, it took a backseat to everything else, which I didn't mind. 
but for a series where like story is such a core tenant, the story just didn't feel like it was quite as good. It's one of those things where like, even if it's not something that, uh, what's it? Sorry, how do I word this? Even if it's like within my personal taste and I normally wouldn't care all that much, when I'm like doing review review, it's like, okay. what? Why were you still sitting there shooting? I thought he had moved. I heard him step and then start shooting. I have been fighting Vulcan Raven for almost an hour. Your Kazuya play was good. I caught up on a bit of the stream from yesterday. Thank you. My Kazuya is in orange now. I played a bit last night. I have gotten Kazuya, eh, Kazuya, Kazuya into orange again. So Kazuya is a, I think the same rank as my Panda now, if I'm not mistaken. I think Kazuya is the same rank as my Panda. Um, I want to clean up my Jin as well. Because last night, um, when I was playing, I, I did play a couple Jin matches just for the hell of it. And weirdly, it felt like my Jin got better after not playing Jin for like almost two weeks at all. And I think it's because I played Kazuya a lot in the last few days that my Jin got better because I've just been like focusing in on fundamentals and like reacting to the opponent and stuff to play Kazuya again. My Jin is a lot less spammy than it was in the first couple weeks of the game. My Jin feels better, so I want to get him pulled up as well. And I now like I'm I'm pretty Oh, okay. I thought he was above me. The audio is a little weird. I'm determined to pick up all of the, uh, oh my God, Project Wingman. For context, the Project Wingman question has been a meme uh, uh, on the streams, for those of you who haven't been around super consistently, <laughs> because of how often I get asked about uh, Project Wingman and whether I've heard of it and whether or not I'm gonna play it. It's not even Monday yet. Yeah, tomorrow it's, it gets really bad every time an Ace Combat video comes out. Like every Ace Combat video has to get at least like five comments being like, have you heard of Project Wingman by chance? Our Lord and Savior Project Wingman? Oh my God. Why, why, why are you here? Vulcan Raven jump scare. I don't know what determines the amount of damage I take from the minigun. It seems just kind of random, in all honesty. Nice shooting. Let's try that again. Will it work again? Oh, he turned. Okay, well, that's... Why is he, like, unable to shoot the Nikita if he's already started firing the burst? That was me being dumb. It happened twice in a row, so it seems kind of consistent. I need to get back on the Mishima grind on Tekken, though. Uh, I, I don't know if I talked about it on stream yesterday, but I was talking about it with, um... With Owen. My buddy Owen, who's been making appearances on the Tekken streams. Um, playing Panda for like a week. At first, my biggest hurdle with Panda was relearning movement because I didn't have wave dash, right? Because I'm just, I play the Mishimas. That's what it is. Um, so at first I was like, oh my God, I feel naked without my wave dash. I can't move. And I unlearned wave dash. Like I got used to just using basic movement. And, uh... Now going back to Kazuya and Jin, I can't wave dash anymore. Like I've actually lost the muscle memory too. It's gone. I just need to sit down and like 
wave dash for five minutes in practice to get it back or something, which I just haven't done yet. Because I actually lost it. Playing Panda made me a worse Tekken player. In some ways, in some ways, playing Panda made me better, to be fair. But in others, it made me worse. You know, Panda made me learn how to move without my overcomplicated movement tech that my characters that I played before have. But Panda also taught me to be super toxic and just kind of throw spammy bullshit the whole match and get wins doing that. And now I need to unlearn that. And I need to relearn my movement. Like, it's great to be able to, like, move around properly without it. But at the same time, now that I have it again, um, I need to, I need to be able to do it. Okay, he's up there. God damn it. It's a PS1 game. Am I gonna play Metal Gear Solid 3D? Isn't that just the 3DS port of Snake Eater? Is there, is there an actual like whole game? Metal Gear Solid 3D. You know about our Lord and Savior Hawks 2? I haven't complained about it, but Hawks, I have also gotten a ton of comments about. I haven't complained about it as much, but Hawks, I have gotten a shit ton of comments about as well. Not sure if it has anything different. I got a couple like fun facts about it in the comments on the MGS3 video where like, apparently the 3D effect is like fully working in the in the port. But um, as soon as Snake loses his eye, it stops working. Like you don't get the 3D effect anymore for the rest of the game. I thought that was cool. That it's sort of like, uh, you know, he loses his depth perception when he loses one of his eyes. That's neat. It's not worth replaying the game on 3DS for, but like, it's cool. 3D is the terrible Snake Eater port. A lot of people in the comments said that it's like their favorite version of MGS3. I know that they made the, the menu navigation way better from what people were saying. Like, apparently the 3DS port, because it has the, you know, the split screens. Uh, people were saying that on the bottom screen, you can just do all the navigation down there. And I'm like, oh, that's genius. Like, that's actually great. Specifically the Wii version of Hawks 2. I thought there was only one, first of all. And a second, I thought that Hawks was just a Wii game. Am I wrong? Am I gonna need to use like Stinger? Stinger could work. Oh, I got four more Nikita. Okay, some damage is good. Some damage is better than no damage. Socrates, probably. He's just gonna kill me. Fuck. Has some weird mechanics unique to it, like being able to take pictures for unique camos. Oh yeah, the, the camera camo thing. I heard about that. Won't do damage, even if it's close to him, but hitting a wall close to him would do damage. Um, There's something weird going on where if he's already firing the flurry of bullets, it seems like it doesn't destroy the missile. At least I had like a few instances of it in a row. 
And because he stays in place when he's shooting like that, I might be able to take advantage of it and cheese him. I don't know. I don't know. I I'm theorizing here. You take away my radar and you make me one shot and you take away my claymores and suddenly Vulcan Raven is a very difficult boss, like legitimately difficult. It's a very specific set of circumstances, but here we are. They made an entirely unique game for the Wii version of Hawks 2. It's just a unique game. What? I thought it was just a Wii game, but maybe that's because everyone is just commenting about the Wii version. Gotta grab all the good stuff. I'm wondering if Stinger might be good. It should work, right? Here. That's crazy! And I accidentally grabbed the... I accidentally grabbed the sniper. Okay. He, uh, he, he can hear me. And smell me. Whatever is happening to where he's suddenly whipping around. So I can't get too close to him like that. It's weird. It's actually not as weird as you might think from like back then that was kind of just a thing. Oh, I deleted my stinger. Um Like, different ports just being different games was a pretty common thing up until, like, the late 2000s. Like, mid to late 2000s. Like, I would say... By the time you're getting to, like, 2007, 2008, it kind of stopped being a thing. Um, but rather than having, like, the same team do a port of the game that they've already made, they would legit just, like have two different dev teams and be like, okay, you're both making Hawks 2. Uh, you guys are making it for the 360 PS3. You guys are making it for the Wii. Here's like the basic design doc. Go do what you want. There, there are a ton of games from back then that, um, what's it? That have completely different versions on different platforms like that. Like, I know, what's it called? Wolverine. There was a Wolverine game that had it. Uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter had three different games, like three different entirely unique games. Um, there was one for the Wii. There was one for the Xbox and there was one for PC. And all three of them were entirely different games. Um, trying to think. Sonic Unleashed was different? Uh, sure. I don't know Sonic, but probably, if you say so. Hawks 2 has an entirely original story. I mean, that's unique, but like outside of that, it's just a common phenomena is all I'm saying, at least back then. Especially, um, licensed properties back then. Like Tom Clancy stuff, or... What's it? I'm trying to think. Uh, like movie? Movie tie-ins? Like Spider-Man games. Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 on the Wii is different than Spider-Man 3 on the PS3 and Xbox. Spider-Man 2? Did Spider-Man 2 have that? Because I know Spider-Man 3 did. Did Spider-Man 2 also have it? Oh, Force Unleashed! Force Unleashed had so many different versions. You're right. 
It's such a weird thing looking back on it. Like today, it just it's not a thing that happens anymore. But for a while, that was just like a common thing. You were just buying totally different games. Oh, whoa, I'm not where I thought I was. I should have just held it straight. Spider-Man 2 on PS2 and PC. I didn't even know there was a PC version of Spider-Man 2, actually. I had Spider-Man 2 on the Xbox, not PS2. But I'm assuming that's the same version, the PS2 and the Xbox version. Oh, there was um also Spider-Man. Again, it was way more common with like licensed property stuff. Uh, Shattered Dimensions had a, uh, a couple different versions as well that I remember. I remember actually having, like, the Xbox 360 version and the DS version. And those actually had unique stories as well. Those had completely different stories. The Shattered Dimensions different versions. Those had like totally unique stories and like even just the lineup of villains that you fought in them was totally different. Fuck, I tried to get away. I let the missile go into wall. Go into wall. Jesus Christ. PC version is trash. PSP port was just the first movie game with, oh, there was a PSP version too? Jesus Christ. It was such a weird thing. Like sitting here talking about it, there were so many games that had this. Like I kind of say it and I'm like, oh yeah, that was just a thing. But I'm like now remembering back to all the different games that did it. And I'm like, yeah, this was so weird actually. <laughs> that they would just be like, uh, we need three of you, you teams to all make a game that will be released on the same day under the same name but you're just all making different versions. Go ham. You just make your own version of it. Do your own thing. We don't care that much. Because also like how inefficient is that, right? Like just business wise. Like no wonder it's not a thing that's done anymore because what? One of the, oh, um, Splinter Cell. It's the one where he's bald. Someone help me out. The the one where, where Sam Fisher is bald. Someone. Yeah, it, there was an Xbox version and an Xbox 360 version, and they were totally different. Like, one of them had, had like, branching storylines and shit, and one of them just didn't. Double Agent. Thank you. And wasn't the original Xbox version actually supposed to be the better one? PC version of MGS1 is different too. No, it's not. I'm playing it right now. This is the PC version. Bro, if Psycho Mantis read your search history instead, that would be the funniest shit. That would actually be so good. Where the hell is he? There you are. I am right around that corner, friend. Do stun grenades work on him? Does anyone know the answer? Should we review the Splinter Cell? They're on the list for the next series. Uh-oh. I grew up with the first, like, three Splinter Cell games, but I haven't played them beyond that. So it was like what? Uh, the original and Pandora Tomorrow, I think it's called. And someone throw me a bone here again.
<laughs> what was the other one that I'm forgetting? Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory? Chaos Theory? Was that right? Chaos Theory? I have all of them uh, for Xbox. I have the original Splinter Cell on Steam and maybe more. I know that I've played the PC port a bit because I picked it up on a sale. Chaos Theory. about the hitman games those are also on there i've played the first hitman like in its entirety worst final level ever by the way the original hitman splinter cell games are hard for me though as much as I enjoy stealth games, I'm not good at them. Metal Gear Solid is fine. Metal Gear Solid is like, yeah, I can get like 50 alerts during my playthrough. I'm I'm fine. I'm not going to die. I can get out of it. It's whatever. Uh, Splinter Cell, not so much. Splinter Cell actually has like really deep stealth and it's very punishing once you uh, actually get into combat because they're trying to force you into stealth, right? And it works. But like, holy shit, am I bad at the Splinter Cell games? I'm dead. Hitman is... Actually, I struggled a lot playing the first Hitman as well. I remember that game being pretty hard. Not as hard as Splinter Cell, but pretty hard. Um, I've played the original Thief, but I've never finished it. Yoink, yoink. GTA, GTA is on there. Uh, here we go. I want grenades actually. Thank you. I'm dead. I'm, I'm fine. Stupid bitch. That's not gonna work, is it? PS1 hitbox. It's an old game. The entire Tom Clancy universe. I think that's just too much. Cause like some of those, like Splinter Cell has a ton of games. Rainbow has a ton of games. Ghost Recon has a ton of games. That's, yeah, that's too much. That's too much. See, like some of the ones that are lumped together, right? Like how I have the shock games lumped together. There's what? Six shock games, even if you lump them all together. Uh, There's... The Bioware RPGs. Uh, you put all of them together and it comes out to what? Let's see, there's two Baldur's Gates. There's a couple Knights of the Old Republics. Fuck me. Um, three Mass Effects, three Dragon Age games. What am I missing? Anthem. There's four Mass Effect games, actually. I tend to forget. I tend to forget that there's four Mass Effect games. I've still never played Andromeda. Would involve Hawks. You see, it's the same thing that I said back with Armored Core with like the arcadey flight sim stuff. I do not want uh, people to get the idea that, like, this channel is just about a certain genre or subgenre of games. Like, with Armored Core, like, after Armored Core, everyone was like, we should do Mech Warrior, we should do Zone of Enders, and I'm like, I don't want to be the mech guy, so I'm not doing a mech game for a little bit. It's the same thing with, like, Ace Combat, with, like, flight games. 
a weird way to say skill issue. I just, I'm so spoiled nowadays with precise hitboxes. If I shoot that missile straight out, uh, like alongside a box, like while I'm standing like this, if I shoot it straight to the left, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> Cause it's gonna slide along the box a little bit and go off and kill me. You mean deep chol to the mech guy is a lie? Complete lie, yes. Although it's still really funny to me that someone in False's chat while I was just there, hanging out, speaking of, uh, recognized me as Armored Core guy. That was very funny. Reminder, False, that happened. Your viewers like Armored Core, it's official. And despite the fact that that guy has seen me in your chat, like, however many times over the course of however many months and never really paid much attention to me, all of a sudden the other day he was like, wait a minute, I've seen this guy before. He said he thinks he's seen your content. He didn't say Armored Core guy. Okay. He came in asking about Armored Core. You, you might not have seen the full exchange, False. And then he said he recognized me. And I said, uh-oh, False. We might have an Armored Core series viewer in chat. To which he replied to me with a winky face. And then like a, a few messages later, he said something along the lines of like, yeah, I, I've seen the Armored Core videos. Chol has very good in-depth videos about Armored Core. You send it, I sent you like two messages in DMs. I didn't send you the whole thing. You have the VOD, go look at it. Like a few messages later, he said like, yeah, Cole's Armored Core reviews are good. Or something along those lines. I didn't ask him if he's subscribed. I should have asked him if he's subscribed. <laughs> I need Now I need to know. Next time I see him, I'm asking him for the record. Was this your alt account? No, this guy has been around. This, this wasn't like scripted. This, this was just genuinely really funny. And look, he didn't outright say it, but my headcanon, right? The way that I imagine it, he came in asking if anyone in your chat knows like good armored core games on ps2 because he was looking to buy one and he didn't and armored core games are expensive the old ones if you want to buy physical they're expensive as shit so he was asking like which one should i buy um i imagine that the reason that he came in and asked that and then immediately was like oh wait a second i've seen this guy i think he literally had been watching my videos like that day I think like he had l legit just been watching the videos before getting in there. Because otherwise it's really strange to like open with that. It wouldn't make sense. To me, that's what I imagine happened. Got some shit on my monitor. Probably need to clean it. It's been a minute now that I think about it. No one that watches me likes Armored Core. That's not true. That guy, who I'm not name dropping because I'm... I don't know. I don't know. Since he was Googling Armored Core, probably came up. Maybe. I love Armored Core. See? And you love False's streams, right, Daniel? Daniel. Say yes, just say the, just go with it. You love false's streams, don't you? And Armored Core, right? Right? See false, see? Look, look right there. Checkmate, case closed. Oh fuck. <laughs> Three banning. Snake. 
Obviously, the guy in False's chat knows you from Lies of P. I still never even finished Lies of P. It was a good game. I liked Lies of P. I think people just got tired of it. It was way longer than I thought it would be. It was way longer than I expected. Would re-release the old Armored Core games. I kind of do too, just for like accessibility's sake. Cause you know, like I, I was lucky enough to like uh, know people who have physical copies like sitting around for almost all of them, which saved my ass like monetarily. Otherwise that series just would not have happened. The games are way too expensive. Um. And I'm very comfortable with emulation. So like, even though Armored Core games tend to be really, really difficult to get working on emulator, uh, I was able to get like all of them working. Even Gen 5, I was able to get working and stable and get good footage. But like, I am very much the minority in that sense right where like i just happen to know people who i can like borrow a disc off of and i am like used to emulating enough to be able to get those games working it might have taken me like a good six hours to get armored core 5 actually working on emulator but i got there that's the thing like considering that i'm really used to doing that and like I'm familiar enough with the, the process to like know what to try to fix to do whatever. And it still took me like eight hours, or sorry, six hours, eight, to get that working. Like that says a lot. It, it's really, really hard to get Gen 5 working. And even then, like I was absolutely carried by my hardware. Like if I didn't have a 40 series in my computer, I guarantee you that I would not have been able to get, um, Armored Core 5 to run at 60 FPS. I just wouldn't have. To emulate 4 and 5 decently. Yeah, because like I was able to make some compromises where I'm like, okay, even though the performance isn't great if I do this, like even if it uses, because I think Armored Core 5, when I was emulating it, I was using like 90% of my GPU to get 60 FPS. So people were like, oh my God, bro, please give me your settings since you got it working smoothly. And I was like, I can, but unless you've got a beef PC, which I'm lucky enough to have, right? Like, I don't think these settings are gonna work as well for most people, unfortunately. Like not until these specs become cheaper, like more widely available. It like those settings just won't be very helpful. Unfortunately. I'm fucking dead. Jesus Christ. Hold on, let me... It's probably not even, like, noticeable with this game. I'm changing an OBS thing on my laptop. I had to stabilize it for, uh, what's it called? For Tekken yesterday. Cause it was freaking out a little bit. There. That'll look better for the, like the one person who's gonna notice the difference. Have you asked him to calm down? Yes, he, he hasn't. Unfortunately. Did you hear that they added John Cena to Mortal Kombat? I've seen it. I, I'm, I'm, I don't like MK1 that much. I, I wanted to like it. I think I've played like 20 hours of it, just like playing it with friends and stuff. But compared to like Street Fighter, uh, sorry, Street Fighter 6 and like Tekken 8, MK1 just feels kind of messy. And like the characters are kind of shit. 
Although, Peacemaker looks like he is genuinely the best character in the game, from what I've seen. Not best as in, like, oh, he's OP or anything. Like, he looks like the most fun character in the game, from what I've seen. What's wrong? Snake. But... Uh, my big thing was, like, I played every character in MK1 for, like, an hour or so. Like, I, I kept trying to find that one character that was like, oh, I, I have enough fun with this character to, like, actually play them legitimately. I tried every character on the roster. Not one. Like, I couldn't find my character in MK1. Which is kind of the biggest thing, right? Like, when you're trying to pick up a fighting game... You kind of need to find the character that you have fun playing even when you're, like, losing. Otherwise, you're just not going to be able to learn the game. It's one of the reasons that a lot of people bounce off of fighting games really hard. Is they'll pick a character that, like, looks cool to them. But then they start playing them and the character doesn't, like, fit the way that they want to play the game. But they... They stick with it because, like, that's the character that they wanted to play going in. And they'll end up ruining the game for themselves that way. It happens. Uh, like, I used to do it when I was younger and, like, just kind of goofing around on fighting games with friends. Like, Tekken 7 was the first fighting game that I actually realized, like, oh, the character that I want to play is just not for me. Let me try out something else. And eventually I found Kazuya Mishima. Where the hell? Where is he? Oh, there you are. You mean Panda? I was just talking about a little bit ago. Um, now that I've gone back to playing Mishimas again, I've realized how much... Panda taught me a couple things that will be helpful. But Panda genuinely, like, all around, I think made me a worse Tekken player. Taught me a lot of bad habits. Now that I've gone back and I'm playing, like, Kazuya and Jin again, I'm realizing that Panda taught me some really bad habits that I'm now needing to, like, break. Which kind of sucks, because they're habits that I didn't have before. You're not loyal? I am. It's just, a Panda... A Panda is definitely like a fun flex character to have in my pocket. But... Panda is not a character that is conducive to learning. I thought he was running down there, man. What the fuck? With Mr. T turning people into himself? Yes, actually. Now that you mention it, I, I do remember those. Favorite boss battle? Oh man. It's my favorite in this game too. We're doing the Fox rank. Did I just hit continue? I don't know. I'm just going to be safe. Um, we're doing the Fox rank. I've used my one ration that I get for the entire playthrough. So I have this much health. I have no claymores. I don't have time to go get claymores because I only have three hours to complete the playthrough. I got my one claymore for this fight. I've got no health. If I take damage, it's a reset. We're doing what we can. It's rough out here. The third biggest? It's the second. Second best rank in the game. Holt is first. God damn it. 
Okay, so these these deaths these deaths look really dumb when they happen, right? Let me tell you what's happening. Cause I've done that like three times now, and people have just been like, "What was that?" It's the thumbstick. It's the uh, the nature of the thumbstick. I'm trying to play like quickly. And so I'm trying to input like just straight left really fast, but I'll like kind of flick it a little bit, right? And if my flick isn't perfect, like if it's not just straight to the left as I intend for it to be, and I act too quickly, I do that. That has a much larger blast radius than I thought. Um, to, uh, to False's point, back to the Tekken thing about me not being loyal, I am loyal. Me leaving Panda is me being loyal. Panda wasn't my, my original main. Panda is who I was cheating with. Kazuya is, is my, my day one. That, that's my real main, all right? You don't understand. <laughs> Realizing he isn't good enough for Panda. The thumbstick strikes again. It's the tools. It kind of is. Why don't you use the D-pad? That's the great thing about this PC port, you see? I can't. <laughs> if I want to use a controller, I cannot. I am loyal. X is who I was cheating with. Exactly. Exactly. I have recognized the error of my ways, my infidelity, and I've gone back. I've made things right. That's what happened. That's true loyalty. I say. This actually brings up a funny story. Just last last night, I uh, what's it? I went out to what's it? I went out to dinner, and uh, there was someone from high school who I have not seen since high school, right? And he's got, he's got a, gr a new girlfriend now, who he's engaged to actually. He's got his fiance now, right? And I've never met this girl and we're talking. And then, he, uh, to, be, to be clear, first of all, I never liked this guy. Just to be clear, never liked this guy. He always rubbed me the wrong way. Never enjoyed him. Uh, and they start telling me about how they met. And then this guy, let's call him, uh, let's call him Dick. Dick tells me that he was actually dating someone else when they met and that he started cheating on said someone else with the girl that he's now engaged to. And I'm like, are you? Flexing to me that that you cheated on your ex? Like what? What? What is? And uh, in my head, I'm kind of like looking at this girl, and I'm like, do you do you realize how much of a red flag that actually is for you being engaged to him? A three-way or something? No. No. Doesn't that destroy? I, I'm kind of like...
Like, in my head, I'm seriously just like, um... I, I was, I was perplexed. Because, you know, my brain thinks, okay, if you know that he cheated on his ex with you, you know that this is someone who cheats, right? Like, is this me being crazy? Or is this like, what makes you think that he's not gonna? Anyway. I was seriously just like, uh, that's cool. That's really, uh, it's really beautiful, actually, how you two met. Wow. Oh, boy. She knew of the cheating part. Are we sure? Yes. Yes. She, she knows. She knew at the time that it was happening, that he was dating someone else. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, shit. Cheaters are romantic traitors. I was just... A woman boss brags that she's cheated in every relationship she's been in. Yikes. That, uh... It's not something to brag about. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't, I don't understand it. I'll never understand cheaters. I mean, I think I'm just like very um, monogamous. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I really don't either. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I got one person. I only need one person. I only need one. That's fine. I'm going this way. Stupid bitch. Where are you going? You going this way? Look at me. I'm gaming. Uh oh. Don't turn around, I swear to God. Thank you. Monogamy kind of slaps. Love that shit. Me too. Big monogamy guy. Come on. Come on, please. God damn you. To stay with it. Come on now. Uh oh. Wait, could this maybe be good? Potentially? No, he's not following. Come on, big man. Come on down. I got a C4 for ya. Maybe, if you want it. Oh, 
God damn it. Whoa. He's really hauling ass right now. Was that just my C4? Oh my god, where is he? Okay, he's in front of me. Just toss one. Wah! Wah, 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 wah! Fuck! What if he healed if he didn't damage him for a long period of time? I would be so pissed. This fight would be so much worse if that was the case. Why'd they remake three and not one? I've seen you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I think there's two reasons. Well, actually, I think there's more than two reasons, but I think first of all, it's everyone's favorite, generally speaking. Not everyone, everyone, but it's most people's favorite. Uh, two, it's the first game in the timeline, so there's no like barrier to entry in terms of story, because a lot of people won't play uh, a later game knowing that it's later and that there's stuff before it, right? So that helps. Uh, most popular, first game in the timeline. And... Twin Snakes exists. A lot of people don't like the Twin Snakes, but they have remade. They have remade this game already. I don't think that remake is bad, but that's a minority opinion for sure, to put it lightly. It's definitely putting it lightly. Also, fuck this boss with one shot and no radar and no claymores. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Why are we here? Why are we here? How do we get here, chat? How did it get this bad? I didn't mean to to start the God damn it. Why are you going this way? Ah! Please. He didn't even walk into it. Oh my god, what a whip! Holy shit! Wow. I didn't mean to start the uh, the speech from 5. I don't even know the sp I haven't even played the game. I didn't know that, uh, that that speech was from Metal Gear Solid until like a month ago. You know, I've just heard the first few lines from, uh, what's it called? from like memes over the years. I had no idea it was MGS5. Did you just reset? Bro, do you know what you're saying? I knew it was from that game. I didn't. Good for you. I didn't know. I'm just giving false the responses she gives me. That's all. <laughs> For anyone who's like, why? Why is he being such a bitch? <laughs> Sometimes I'll say something and falsely just be like, well, okay, I didn't. I don't care if you did. I don't give a shit. Snake, answer me. Snake, snake. Probably why people love Matt. Oh, is it Master Miller? Did dying cause the grenade to not explode? Yeah, it's happened a few times where after you die, the grenade fuse just never blows up. I've noticed it. It's kind of weird. I love Master Miller because uh, he gives me inspirational quotes in Metal Gear 2. What was it? The the more you weep, the less you game over. Is that what he said? The the quote that he kept giving me. Um, what's it called? 
in, in Metal Gear 2 that I memed the shit out of when we played it on stream. To be fair, it was funny because every time I called him, he said it, like, without fail. You'd just be like, the more you weep, the less you game over. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what are you saying? The more I cry, the less I die? Sometimes we all need a master mill in our lives. It's true. That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body by equipping them. I wish that there was an easier way. There, huh? No, I didn't restart. I'm not going to restart. No. It took us like four hours to get here with like the speedrun skips and like quitting and loading and all that. I used the death sound and screen in my PC building video and you didn't praise me. I... Didn't watch it. Uh, I mean, you already know. It, it's, I throw it on. I get up to go do something. I let it play. I give engagement. I come back and it auto played to something else. Fuck. I did it wrong. I gotta wait like a second before I can actually use it. Man, it is windy out and my my blinds are just like slamming into the wall. It's not what I thought was gonna happen. It was the Gen Z one I think you said? Did I watch that? Maybe. I don't think... Did I? I don't know. Holy shit. The best Ace Combat death sound? I have no idea. I, I have no clue. It was so boring. It was so good. What the hell are you talking about? Oh shit, that is scary. I would normally use claymores. The issue here is I have one claymore for this run. I have no time to backtrack. Like, I know I could go back up out of the, uh, what's it, the underground facility and get some, but I do not have the time to do it. At least for the rank. Like, I would lose the rank if I went and grabbed them. It would take too long. We're cutting it. Oh, hello. I'll be leaving. All right, Proto, we'll see you around. Have a good rest of your day. Ad break time. Ooh. I love me an ad break, personally. I think ads are great. You guys, you guys agree? I love ads. Hold on, give me a second. I can't pause, Mom. Shit. Not now. I'm in the zone.
I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna hope that I remember it is there. Maybe I'll remember. Oh, I'm dead. Since the Travis Scott Burger. Travis Scott Burger, I actually got it when it was out. It literally, like, it was the most boring thing ever. It was so... Do they, they don't do those celebrity, like, crossover deals, whatever they are, like, brand deals, uh, marketing, marketing deals for McDonald's anymore, do they? Did they just kind of deem it a failure, I guess? Probably, because... I mean, I don't know anyone who actually got them. Apparently, the, um... What's it called? The... Uh, the K-pop one. I don't remember who it was. I don't listen to K-pop. But the K-pop one apparently had, like, really good sauces, I had heard. So a lot of people liked that one. From what I was told. I heard that the sauces were pretty good in that one. Sonic does celebrity. They do? I haven't had Sonic in like eight years, probably, to be fair. Whenever I think that I should go get Sonic again, just for the hell of it, I'm always like, but do I actually want it? The answer is normally no. Been good this time. I. It takes one mistake. Keep in mind, one mistake, and it's back to the loading, the save. That was very close to killing me. Speaking of one mistake, that almost killed me. Oh, he's there? Oh, shit. Please run. Yes! Booyah! Please stay in that back row and run into it. Uh, not fast enough. Okay, um... Oops. <laughs> That's not what I wanted at all. Uh... Nikita! Oh, he was right there. Oh my god. Is he where I think he is? I have no clue where he is. He just set off the claymore. But it didn't hurt him. I'll take what I can get. Sure. Shit. I don't have a whole lot of these, man. Holy shit! Ron Staten, fuck! God damn it, it was almost clutch. Having homemade burgers for dinner tonight. I always like doing homemade burgers, but I also feel like every time I do them, I just don't do them as well as uh as like burger places go figure but it's kind of weird like a lot of food i feel like i can do just as well as like restaurants around me burgers aren't like that i feel like i can't make a burger to rival like my local bars right like to ri better than fast food yeah but like local places no i wish i could Homemade burgers are good. They are good, but I feel like I can't make a better burger than like local places. And it bugs me. Because a burger, you know, it, it's simple to make a burger. It's so simple to make a burger. But clearly there's like some art of burger making 
that I'm missing. There's, there's a piece that I, I, I don't quite have. One man will never be five guys. I feel like I can make one better than five guys, but I think that's mostly because of the grease from five guys. I like five guys. Five guys fucks me up, which to be honest, when I go to get a fast food burger, like that's kind of what I want. Uh, but I feel like I can rival the five guys just because of the lack of grease, if nothing else. Oh, come on, man. Make sure to put the bag in the floor. It's so greasy, which like, again, if I'm getting a fast food burger, I kind of, there, there's a part of me that craves it, but. Wow, he shot for a long time there. Oh, come on. No. It wouldn't have hit him anyway. It's fine. Oh, my God. Oh, and it killed me. Sweet. Oh. Uh, you don't got to hear about your personal life. I'm just saying, five guys really, uh... Never mind. Never mind. Good burger, though. Uh, but, like, the other thing is the, the local bar that, like, I always go to to meet people... I went there last night. Um, it's really cheap. And they make better burgers than I do, for sure. Like, the burger that I got there last night, burger and, uh, and fries was eight bucks. It was like it, just way better than anything I could have made. And I probably would have spent close to that much making the burgers myself if I had used like all the same ingredients, right? guy's oil buildup has me taking a knee and grabbing my stomach. It definitely does. It's so greasy. But a double... Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead? Shit, I'm not dead. The grease of a five guys double cheeseburger will mess my shit up. Who needs a liver anyway? Not me. I don't drink, so I've got that advantage going already. Burgers here for three America prices. Do I like Wendy's? I do. I do like Wendy's. But I never get like the like the premium, I guess, in quotes, like items at Wendy's. I just get like the uh, what's it called? The five dollar bag. It used to be the four for four, but I don't think they do the four for four. I haven't had Wendy's in like two years. I don't like Wendy's. You like McDonald's and you don't like Wendy's. How, how does that work? Like, explain. Explain it. I'm dead. That was a good one, too. He just, he gets going so fast. I think once his health is that low, I should maybe stop using the Nikita. I don't like McDonald's. And why do you eat it so much? I call bullshit. You like McDonald's. I'm the reason Arby's is... Arby's is not bad. Okay? Chat. Arby's is not bad. But there are items at Arby's that 
need to be avoided like the plague. Okay? There are things at Arby's that you just cannot order. You can't. Because, holy shit, they're nasty. Like, there are just... And to be fair, a lot of people think they hate Arby's when they would actually probably enjoy it because those are like their, their more advertised items. Like, you know how you kind of just go to a fast food place that you don't really know and you're kind of like, oh, I'll just get like the number one, right? Which at Arby's, I think is, um, isn't it the beef and cheddar? Which is definitely one of the things to avoid. Do not get the Arby's beef and cheddar. If you, if you value your life at all, do not get the Arby's beef and cheddar. That shit is nasty. Nuh-uh, no beef and cheddar. Don't get it. The roast beef? No, no. Their roast beef is awful. Their roast beef is... But Arby's has really good chicken sandwiches. Hear me out. Uh, their chicken stuff is really good. They have a uh, chicken bacon ranch at, uh, at Arby's that's really genuinely good. I would recommend it. Arby's has good side dishes. You know, Arby's got like the curly fries. They've got a bunch of stuff, actually. I don't remember. I haven't had Arby's in like three years. I haven't had a lot of fast food in a long time. I I'm mostly just not eating fast food these days. But chicken stuff is good. Uh, I'm trying to think. Cream school milkshake? Oh, I forgot they had that. It is so good, though. They do have a cream school milkshake. And I'm not a huge milkshake guy, typically. But that's a good one. Milkshakes make me feel like shit in a way where they just make me feel like shit. Like, there's nothing, like, craveable about it. Like, with, you know, I was saying, like, greasy cheeseburger earlier. How there's sort of, like, a, a part of me that, like, yeah, I, I could go for a, a greasy cheeseburger that's gonna make me feel awful. Milkshake is, like, it makes me feel bad in a way that's not bad. I just, I don't want to deal with it. There's like, makes me feel fat, but not to like a degree where I want to just go to bed and sleep it off. And then there's a milkshake. Uh-oh. Okay, he didn't come down this way. Holy shit. Also with the chicken sandwich thing, I've never had uh, an Arby's chicken sandwich with fat in it. That sounds like a location specific thing. But yeah, that would do it. That would be something to not get the, the chicken for. Your chat stays on screen for so long. It's not that bad. Unless someone does something to get timed out or banned. But even then... There's a weird bug with it that I've never been able to figure out. Where whenever we get a timeout or a ban, um, the, the thing like fills up the screen. So it just, it's... I don't know how to fix it. Jess doesn't know how to fix it either, because Jess has fixed a lot of bugs with the chat box, because she also writes her own chat box. And she has more um, CSS experience than I do, because my CSS experience is like, I learned it so that I could make my own stream assets with it. Hers is like she actually used it in work. 
so she's been able to figure out a lot of stuff that I haven't been able to. Snake, what happened? Snake, snake. Saying a letter in the Arby's menu's name. Man, it, it just, it happens. The letters thing, I've explained it so many times. The letters thing is necessary. I'm not taking it out. Yoink. Oh my god. Why? Why do you guys intentionally get yourselves timed out by the bot? What's wrong with you? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Arby's curly fries are the best fast food fries. You're wrong. You're wrong. Blatant misinformation. Everyone knows that it's checkers fries. No competition. Actually, some competition. Popeyes is close. Popeyes fries are so good. Popeyes fries are so good. I haven't had Popeyes in forever because we have shitty ass Popeyes here. I prefer solid to be honest. Solid snake? Oh shit. I should have done the pin that's like, I haven't played everything. False, can you do a little thing about, like, don't spoil the games? So that I can pin it. Can you do that real quick? Can you just type something up? I don't know why mods can't pin messages yet on YouTube or write polls. I don't get it. I gotta keep annoying them about it. Maybe they'll give in eventually. Falling off hard after they got bought out. When did they get bought out by Burger King? When did this happen? That's good enough. It'll do. Oh, I'm dead. Hate this. Hate this so much. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be this hard. I don't know what is and isn't a spoiler since I played none. It works. Works for me. I have played MGS3. I've played up to MGS3 at this point. So I do know uh, that the boss is a protagonist. To be fair, I also just know what games he is the protagonist of. I haven't been outright spoiled on shit, but like, I don't live under a rock either. Six years ago. Him hating the cheddar biscuit shrimp. I've never gotten shrimp at Popeyes. Do they have good shrimp? I've never, I've never taken the dive. I'm generally not a big shrimp guy, but when I do eat shrimp, I gotta say I enjoy popcorn shrimp. Uh, oh, I'm not in the line of danger, okay. A little sketchy. I don't know any twists from five, no. Not anymore.
Wait for him to go around a corner. No, you can't hold it in place. It has to be moving at full speed to be able to hit him. This boss without claymores and without health, it's this is a nasty combination. It, it's infuriating. Talking about the shrimp specifically. I still think their chicken has been pretty good. The fries are still great. Actually, I should probably go around this way. Yes, this was a good idea. Oh, come on, man. What's wrong with you? Where is he? I thought he just had to be in the radius. Sometimes I can get like a little scratch out of it if it's close enough. But no, you kind of have to hit him with it. Like direct at full speed. Like that. To get like any meaningful damage out of it. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh. This isn't gonna work either. Wait. I'll take what I can get. Shit. Holy, the wind is picking up outside. I might just need to shut the window. It's so distracting. PS1 hitbox. Or did he shoot it? I can't even tell. The bigger I am body mass wise, the more missiles I can take. Yeah, he's a big boy. All the vocal tracks? Uh, what's the list here? I'm trying to think. Um. There's the best is yet to come. There's the piano song from two. I don't know the name of it. Uh, and then I guess just Snake Eater, right? Like just the Snake Eater theme. Snake Eater's the best one. Then the one from two that I can't remember the name of, but it's it's great. And then best is yet to come. I think all three are great though. To be to be uh, clear, if I just if I was ranking them, the best is yet to come just has to be the least of them. Can't say goodbye to yesterday. Thank you. Because when I was editing the MGS2 video and I was like just sitting there listening to it on its own, I was like, oh my god, this is a banger. This is a great song. He's he's moving. Okay. We're getting places. Big Boss doesn't know what gay people are until Peace Walker, what? I mean... He was born in the 40s. So, you know. That sounds about right, actually. Where the hell is he? I think this is the point where I should stop using Nikita. He's just way too fast. Man, I was like, maybe if he keeps running left, I'll be fine. God damn it. The audio isn't good enough in MGS1 to really know where he is all the time going off of the sound. Um, 
Ah, oh, shit. It's frustrating. I keep getting pretty close now, though. I think it's just because I'm learning more about, like, how he generally behaves with each run of it. That's not going to do anything. Oop, that's a bad throw. Why are you there? He does have a pattern early on, but sometimes he just deviates weirdly like this. Oh! I think of the last performance the vocalist recorded before she died. Really? I didn't find anything about that. But Snake Eaters, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to top Snake Eater. I have not heard of Mary Gear Solid, no. I've heard of, um, what is it? Unmetal? Is that what it's called? Damn it. 349. Someone's ahead of schedule. Oh, he deviated from the. Okay. He. Or maybe he doesn't have a consistent pattern. He does one, like, opening pattern, like, nine times out of ten. I mean, I got like a scratch. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling right now. I guess we're fine. Oh my god, we were barely fine though. Jesus. God damn it. Oh, we're so fucked. God damn it. <laughs> what? This fight is great when you have health and claymores. Snake. Snake. Oh my god. What a shit show. What a shit show this fight is. At least we can do the uh, the loading thing so that none of this time or none of these deaths count towards the uh, the rank at the end. But Jesus Christ.
the Monster Hunter missions in Peace Walker? I don't know. I don't know shit about Peace Walker. I don't know what I am and am not doing. Yoink, yoink. A death? What even happened that time? I'm I'm just desensitized at this point. What even happened that time? Holy shit, I'm gonna need to close my window. Bro, it's the fact that it's only cracked and there's so much wind that my blinds are just like flying around right now. Jesus Christ. What a start. Okay, he's coming this way. I want this ammo in the corner. Shit. Damn it. Oh. God damn it. Okay, you guys, I, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but please stop talking about Peace Walker or just the ones that I haven't played. We'll get there. Yoink, yoink. Yoink. I need all the Nikitas, please. Gotta make do with what we can get. Jesus Christ. I, like, the thing is, when I get him that low, I, I need to get, like, a little more damage with Nikita before I can actually, like, swap off to the Claymore to try to just finish him off and the C4, probably. But, uh... It really puts me at risk to do that. Like, really at risk. Am I going to... No, maybe not. Oh, no. We're, we're in a safe enough spot. Now. Oh, no way. What a good guess. That was entirely just a guess. Like a little intuition on it, sure, but that was, that was just a guess. Ah, uh, okay. This was a bad idea. That was an even worse idea. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think this is the run. Obviously. This time is the time today will forever be known as what's it called uh vulcan raven day today will go down in history as vulcan raven day god damn it god damn it 
You just gotta parry the bullets. Where it's so easy. If there was a parry mechanic, we would have been out of here two hours ago. You guys, it's such an easy fight. Obviously, we it, we got this this time. It's so easy. Just no damage the fight streamer. So easy. Make it work. See, sometimes he doesn't do the alert sound cue either. And that's a little terrifying that he can just decide he's not going to give the sound cue for seeing you. When he can shoot you from, you know, the whole arena away with hit scan. Seems like he sticks around the edges past this point. Where the hell are you going? What the fuck? I've never had him chase me down directly like that. I, like early on, I was trying to make him do that and I could never get it to happen. And then just that one time, he runs directly at me. What the hell? Okay, this time. This time. It might be a behavior tree thing, like later in the fight it opens up. I don't know. It certainly doesn't work like that early on. Like when he opens up, he has a set pattern. That's just kind of random from like a small but like, I don't know, three or four, like a handful of, uh, of patterns. And then, uh, I guess maybe it does just completely change later on. Hello, he moved. Or he went not where I thought he was going. Once again, not where I thought he was going. What is happening? I thought I had like a good feel for how his pathing works, and now he's just throwing so many curveballs at me. He's behaving like completely differently this time around. Oh, okay. I thought that I had lost that one. I lost that one. Um, God damn it. It was close. A scratch. I'll take what I can get, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
He's gonna shoot this one. This was stupid. What? That's just bullshit. Where is he going? <laughs> the camera flipping messed me up. I really, like, I was trying to run the other way. Oh, the camera flip got me. Did you accidentally create a sentient AI? It's, it feels like it's learning. Because it was working, like, consistently a specific way for so long. And now he's just throwing curveballs. More likely, uh, it's just like behavior tree stuff that, you know, he can go down certain paths as the fight progresses, like certain different sets of behavior. And it's just kind of random. And I just happened to get like one or two set paths for so long that now, what? That should have gotten me damage. There's no way that that didn't. That's what I would call bullshit. How did you whip on me like that? Why is he being all weird? Why is he behaving differently? He had really consistent behaviors that I was just progressively getting better with, and now he's just different. What happened? What is going on? We go up, we scroll up for load game this time. What is going on? Why? At least I know that this will definitely be the worst part of this run. I take solace in that knowledge. That like, once I've got this down, the Rex fight won't be this bad. The liquid hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat fight apparently gives you your health back beforehand, chat said. So that should be fine. Like, that should basically play out like it normally does. Like, on a typical run. And then the escape, I can I can save right before the escape, and that definitely won't be as hard as this is. Please? Thank you. I just had to ask him nicely for that one. Pro-telepathy sounds like something from Metal Gear Solid 3. That sounds like a Cobra unit ability. Does that warn him of attacks? Is that what it's supposed to be? I've never picked up on that, if that's the case. Like that it's supposed to be that he has the ravens warning him. That might be it. How does that not get me damaged? That's horse shit. I already grabbed that. Oh, fuck me. I'm dead. 
He's behaving differently. What is happening? His patterns just switched. They're just different. What is going on? Like he was just hanging out along the, the edges before. Now he's doing a lot more like cuts and zigzags through the maze. I just made that up. I wonder if that's maybe why he turns around like right as a missile's about to hit him. Maybe that's the point is that the crows are warning him. Huh? Sometimes that happens too. Where I actually just get robbed for no reason. On the damage, I mean. Like, him turning around is fine. It's the fact that those just don't deal damage when they're, like, in his chain gun. I should get at least a little chip. Okay, that's crazy. He just never left that lane. He just, and not once did he leave. Jesus Christ. Yoink, yoink. Yoink. What a toss on that grenade. Like that, how does that not damage him? It's like rubbing up against his body, it explodes, and I get nothing. Where the hell? Oh. See what I mean? He's like zigzagging now, which is totally different from what he was doing for like two hours. He was not doing this shit, and now all of a sudden, it's all he's doing. What's going on? Rubbing up against his body sensually, yes. The thumbstick strikes again. People always ask why I prefer to play PS1 games on a D-pad than on a thumbstick. That's why. It's kind of gay. It's bold of you to assume the missile is a man. Yoink. Yoink. And yeah, we deleted Stinger. I was like, why am I not using Stinger again? I couldn't remember why, because I had thought of it before. It's because we deleted it for a speedrun skip. Soon he'll escape the game and destroy our economy. We are watching it in real time. What the hell is he doing? It's fun. I thought I was in the same lane as him. I think I was. Maybe not. God damn you. Run this way. Don't turn this way. I threw this missile away, yeah.
This one's probably dead too. Oh, what the hell? God. Uh, I'll take it. Sure. Oh God. What is happening? I'm gonna die. Yep, fuck me. Stereo really helps, barely! The audio doesn't work half the time. And it's so crunchy that like, it's not clearly discernible. Um, I've heard of Overlord. I don't really know much about it, though. Did he just run straight to you? Yes. Yes, he did. Once he gets to that last phase, he starts doing it. Not every time, but sometimes. Like, once his health is low, there's a chance that he's going to run straight at me at any given time. He's going pretty well for me so far, gotta say. God damn it. I tried. Come on. What's frustrating about this fight is that it's partially trying to like just guess what he's doing based on what I've observed. And it's partially just luck, because he kind of just does random, inconsistent shit all the time. He's gonna whip around. God damn you. Where is he? He didn't set off the claymore. Oh, there it is. up top what is that what what 
Oh my god. I had the plan. The audio had him coming from up front. God fucking damn it. That C4 was all I needed. Stereo helps my ass. Wasn't even worth putting the message in the game to bully people for not having it. It barely works. S ranking DMC2 looking less painful somehow, yes. There were four more Nikitas. Nikitas are so risky at the end, I didn't want to use one more. Or I didn't want to use more. I already had, like, pushed more than I would have with them. When he starts doing that thing where he just runs you down, it's really risky to be stuck uh, guiding a Nikita. I try to, like, get near the end and get myself in a spot where, um where I don't need to use them anymore. You beat it yet? Yes. Yes, I did. Manhunt? Okay, any good games where you play as a bad guy? Like Prototype? Or the darkness? Uh, the darkness is debatable. This is just a new boss? Uh-huh. Please. Okay. Maybe. He's gonna turn around. He just... I don't like what he's doing right now. Oh my god, my instinct was good. See what I mean about the Nikita thing? Past like this the halfway point. The audio is no help right now. What's a rare glitch? Him running by me? Is that what you mean? Because that was odd. I was like, did he just run past me? And he absolutely did. I mean, I wasn't complaining. He didn't stop moving anyway. And once he does that, like, I... I mean, I could use Nikita, but, you know, it's like a 1 in 5... Or 1 in 10 chance, more realistically, that that will even work. It's a very risky idea to even try to use Nikita during that. Oh. Yeah, I used the one ration. He went that way?
I got something. Oh, I'm fucked. Wait, no, I'm not. He's doing weird things. He's doing weird things again. He's being weird again. That was good. That was lucky. Please. Thank you. Oh, he's rushing. Fuck it. Put that away. Don't deal with it. Claymore's going here. Fuck me! Oh my god, man. What is this? Why is he so difficult to do without taking damage? If I had claymores, it would be way easier. If I had any claymores. The car section? Apparently, when you do the liquid fight, uh, it restores all your health. The the hand-to-hand -hand fight, I mean. What? He's shooting through the... Okay. Oh. Thumbstick strikes again. You know what I've got to do after this, too? All that running around to do the, uh... What's it? The, um... Pal key. Oh wow, you're still looking that way. That's cool! He's still looking that way. Fuck me, I'm dead. He just did a CSGO spin bot right there. Why did his behavior change? What happened? Like, I had him down. Like, we had so many consistent runs because his behavior was so consistent, and then it was just like a switch got flipped. Where now he's not doing any of that anymore. He almost just feels completely random at this point, whereas before it felt like there was... Uh, like, consistent logic to it. At the beginning, it feels like he's, like, at least with him walking to the left, I mean, it feels like he's consistent, but even here, uh, like, that turn is not always the way he turns. He's already running. Where am I? Okay, we're fine. God 
damn it. See, like, that's a consistent thing, him turning back to the left. Like, I do genuinely have an understanding of how he behaves, but sometimes he just stops behaving that way. Like, right now, what is he doing? Is he behind me? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Okay, now I know. Iframes, son of a bitch. Did he run down? What is he doing? was some risky business right there. That was not something that I should have done, but I was rewarded for it. Where the fuck is he? This audio is indiscernible. The top and the bottom of the screen sound the exact same. There's That's the problem. If he's in front of you or behind you, it makes no difference in the audio. That's the issue. I figured it out. If he's to the sides, it's very clear. If he's in front or behind, no difference. The audio is the exact same. So if I look a certain way, and I know that he's either in front of me or behind me, that's a pretty fucked up 50-50 to guess on. That completely changes where he is. Feels like a horror movie. Once he starts running like that, it is legit like, I just have to like take guesses and pray and try to use all 112% of my brain power to figure out what's going on. Once he starts doing that, where he just doesn't stop like that, why did you not take damage? Um, once he starts running and he doesn't stop, it's just like, pray. I'm dead. I'm not dead. He didn't see me. Oh, he saw me then though. Oh, really? That was super unusual behavior for him. He got up to that top corner and immediately just turned back, which is fine. Like, that's not normal. Normally, when he's running along the edge, he either looks inwards at each stop or runs straight at each stop. That time, he ran straight the first time and kept looking where he was going, but then on the second time... I just turned off my mic. Point being, that was super unusual and not how he normally behaves. Like, I am genuinely studying his AI this entire time. And even when there are patterns that work, like, 
50% of the time. The other 50%, he's just doing whatever the fuck he wants. Why does that deal no damage? Oops. Turn back. But he's, is he actually turning back or was that just for the missile? He actually turned. What is going on? I swear he gets weirder with every run. He gets less consistent every single time I, I reset. It's legitimately terrifying. He, I think he's learning, you guys. I think he, he is the ultimate being, the ultimate AI. I'm telling you, this bitch is nuts. I don't think he's actually learning, but goddamn, it feels like he's learning. Because he is changing based on just run to run. He's different. The tricks that I learn don't always work every time. No way we're already in the- Oh my god, we're already in the running stage? You're shitting me. He didn't see me. He's gonna see me. He did it again. Why are we already in the running phase? His health was not low enough to do that. Are you okay? That may be an exploit people haven't noticed before. Both times were the same. They were the same. I was in the same spot facing the same direction, but he also was running the exact same route both times. So it might specifically work if he's running down from that corner and he zigzags up and to the left again. And I'm standing at like the third box from the left on the bottom row facing to the right. That might be like the one way that he just doesn't see you consistently, regardless of like any other factors. I doubt that there's like actual speedrun tech that I would stumble into that no one else has found. But if it's even that specific and it works consistently, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh. Am I dead this time? No? Question mark? Oh, no. This is how Skynet was born. This is fucked. This is, I told you guys, today would go down in history as Vulcan Raven Day. I wasn't lying. I've never seen that. Or seen anyone use it. You shot the wall. Yeah, the thumbstick. It's a PS1 game, so it, it uses omnidirectional movement. We're getting into techno babble, but what else are you here for? Uh, even though it's a dual shock game, it uses omnidirectional, because the dual shock, um had support for all 360 degrees of rank of motion but very few games back then actually used it because it was just a lot to actually code in so they would all use like omnidirectional meaning snake only runs in a perfect straight line or perfectly diagonal so sometimes i'm trying to input a straight direction he just sh he shot my missile uh but i'm a little off axis and it's off axis enough that the game reads it as a diagonal input and I face the wall. And because I'm trying to go fast, because this fight is hard, I shoot the wall right in front of my face. Ah. 
I would use the D-pad and it would make it a lot more natural and easy because obviously it would be way easier to input a straight direction and not accidentally do diagonals. But the PC port uh, doesn't support the D-pad as a, um, what's it, motion input. If you use pad, it's gotta be thumbstick. This port actually doesn't support controllers to begin with. I have a uh, a fan patch installed to let me actually bind a gamepad to it. The PC port is kind of bad, but if you mod this old PC port with some fan patches and stuff, it's pretty much exactly the PS1 game, just with high resolution. I caught it live. Leave while you still can. Vulcan Raven, no damage, no claymores. I haven't been here for three hours. Certainly not. What the fuck? Why? Nice shooting. But welcome, regardless. Some good luck. We take luck when we can get it. Quarok hunting every day. If I ever play Tears of the Kingdom again, it might be too soon. Genuinely. You think I'm joking. But like, seriously. Or Breath of the Wild, both of them. You were only around for Tears False, but I did, I did that twice. Two different games, I did that. I'm good. I've had my fill of open world Zelda for like the rest of my life. I'm going for the big zigzag here. It worked. I think we're gonna be in the running phase now. Or we're very close. He might be, like, finishing this route. And then he's going to transition into it. Yeah, I'm right. He finishes the route that he's running, and then he changes. He's at the bottom of the screen. Fuck me. Sideways. Oh my god, he just picks up on me. I was like, for the love of god, this corner. Are you okay? Snake? Snake? He just can detect you in those corners. Half circle view cone. Does he actually have a uh what's it? 180 field of vision? Is that why? Is it iframes from the grenade? It's iframes from the grenade. He doesn't have any, like, visual indicator that he has iframes, but he does have them after he takes a hit. That's why I'm not getting damage on my first Nikita every time. In a certain range. God damn it. He did it again where he just never uh, looked away from that line of sight. Snake. Snake. I want to like Breath of the Wild and Tears, but they changed so much. I don't feel like it's even that they changed too much. It's that they changed a lot and those changes weren't conducive to a better game for me. Like, they, it's not that they changed Zelda. I'm fine with when games change. 
I'm perfectly fine with things not being the same every single release. I'd honestly prefer it to be that way. But all the core changes that they made, I feel like are just worse in a gameplay sense than what classic Zelda actually used to do. This is a new route. Why have I not seen you go this way? Never played a Zelda game in my life. You should. Just, I, I wouldn't recommend that you start with Breath of the Wild or Tears. You can, and you'll probably like them more having not played classic Zelda, I would guess. Um, but especially like Link to the Past or like the N64 games. I would definitely play. That was just wild. Bro is a Call of Duty player. Why was he shooting me like that? Why was he shooting me like that? I always hear that one is God tier. I would say Ocarina is the best one. For sure. Link to the Past is up there. Majora's Mask is up there. Uh, I haven't played Wind Waker, but I hear that that one is up there. Majora's Mask is the best one. Majora's Mask is my favorite one, but I think Ocarina is the best one. You know, like I think Ocarina is a better game, but I really like how weird and different Majora's Mask is. Am I fucked? Oh, I blew myself up. I, I was like, get me out of this missile. I don't want to be here. I haven't played Twilight Princess yet either. I pretty much played the ones that my parents bought me when I was little, and then I didn't play like any of them until Breath of the Wild. So I've played like the old shit pretty much. And then like, um, yeah, like the GameCube and onwards, I haven't played until Breath of the Wild. Oh, and I haven't played most of the handheld ones either. Oh, is False still here? She can probably hear me. False. You hurt me last night when you said, is Eternal Darkness the only horror game on the GameCube? It hurt my little Resident Evil fanboy heart when you said that. Just so you know. It was like a, a dagger. Hurt. It really hurt. If anyone doesn't know what I mean, it's that RE1 and, or sorry, RE1 Remake. Not RE1, RE1 Remake. And uh, RE4 were GameCube exclusive. Nintendo licensed them to only be on the GameCube. Which, I mean, we all know how that went nowadays, but at the time they were GameCube exclusive. Thank God they eventually got, got ported out though. Cause GameCube, GameCube had such good games. Like all the best, I, I still think out of any Nintendo system, the GameCube had the best like games lineup. Um. But like none of them ever got ported to anything other than the GameCube. Like they're all just eternally stuck on the GameCube and nothing else. Unless you're like Resident Evil or Metroid Prime. It just, none of it ever got ported off the GameCube. Oh, and I guess the Zelda games did, Never mind. But even then there was more. Like the GameCube had such good games. Where the hell is he?
What is he doing? What? That's crazy that he turned to look at that. It was so far away from him. Sunshine got a switch port. We don't talk about Mario HD collection. Or sorry, 3D All-Stars. I say HD collection. I own 3D All-Stars, thankfully. Um, I still cite 3D All-Stars as one of the um, best examples of Nintendo being assholes. The fact that they were like, oh yeah, we are giving you three of the best games we've ever made. Not ported to the Switch, but emulated on the Switch in their own little EXE package. And it's 60 bucks, you know, a little steep asking price, but we can even get, we can get past that. It's three games, right? 60 bucks, they're 20 bucks a piece, sure. Six month limited availability. Other than that, get fucked. You're never going to be able to buy it. Still to this day, I can't believe they did that. And I can't believe that I was dumb enough to pay for it. I shouldn't have in retrospect. I played all of them through on my Switch. It's not like I didn't get my money's worth, but I shouldn't have bought that. I shouldn't have let them do that. I shouldn't have contributed to that being a successful thing for them to do. It haunts me to this day that I actually bought that. This time he's going to behave. He's going to give me a good fair match, right, Vulcan Raven? Right? Turn. Okay, he didn't. Oh, he's gonna fucking shit, man. Come on. Go, 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 go. God damn it. He's gonna finish this route and then he's gonna start. Oh no, he's already sprinting. Shit, I'm dead. I should have just immediately put the missile away. I should have realized that. What's wrong? Snake. I see people online claiming Big Boss is 6'4". In what way would he be stealthy or nimble if he was 6'4"? Hold on. I wonder what the cannon height is. Let me see. How tall? There has to be a cannon height, right? Is Big Boss. Bug Boss. It should get it. 511. Okay, this is crazy. This Reddit post is saying, reminder that Big Boss is a 511 manlet. 511 is two inches taller than average American height for a man. That's above average height for where he's from. Manlet is kind of wild. Because <laughs> 5'11 is not short. 5'11 is manlet? No. Apparently to this random Redditor, yes, but no. Snake, 
from you, Snake. Snake. And he's a man. Like I don't know. I don't. That's it's just okay. Five eleven. I, I imagine if he knew how tall I was. Such insane ideas about height. Uh, probably a combination of things. You know, like media representation could be part of it. Oh my god, I was telling false recently. I watched this thing recently about um, body dysmorphia in men, where apparently in the US, Men are now statistically more likely to have body dysmorphia than women. And like develop, or I think certain eating disorders are still more common in women, but there's a handful of eating disorders even that are more common in men nowadays in the US. And uh, one thing that it got into a lot is like how easy it is for um, for, like teenagers to get their hands on steroids and stuff too because for men a lot of the time it, more likely than developing an eating disorder it turns into like an obsession with the gym and like getting fit and you know there's like a reasonable uh amount of like effort and thought to put into like going to the gym and like you know getting a good body and all that uh, but th there's also, like, being obsessive. Like, if you're doing steroids, you're past the point of obsession. Absolutely. He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. We're doing it early. There's no way of actually getting an accurate read on where he is with the audio. I can get a vague idea. I cannot get an accurate read. Oh my god. Vulcan Raven is a six foot ten manlet. <laughs> Aside from health stuff? I mean, sure. Like, if you're chilling like that, then go for it. But, um, what's it? What was I going to say? Has it been the whole stream cult? No. Also, Streamlabs really has not been liking caps recently. It's so weird that the bot never cracked down on people, like, using a lot of caps and messages until, like, recently. It was just like, nope, this isn't allowed anymore. You guys need to stop. Thank you, Streamlabs. definitely not be okay with it i mean that's uh, it's not any different from what you just said like if you're 300 plus uh you're past that point of like your body can't handle that stress long term that's not sustainable that's not different from what you just said that, that's a health concern easily a health concern weirdness again I like that bug though where I get a free missile that's a good bug Whoa. will be the best Souls player. Chat, he doesn't know. Shh, he doesn't know. All 
I will say is persistence does not equal skill. <laughs> Shit. He's not running yet. No, he's actually not running yet. Oh, come on. Super low body fat's also bad. That's true. It's true. It goes both ways. I got something. I'll take it. I will take it. Now the guessing game starts with the audio. Jesus Christ. It's back there, somewhere. Wow, I realized right as I went into first person. Shit. That was like the perfect opportunity to trap him. Dude, you actually cannot tell. Fuck this fight, man. Suddenly I hate Vulcan Raven. I loved him until today. Doing him in a scenario where, like, I can't take damage at all, like, there's no give, has made me realize how little consistency there is in this fight. It made me really, really realize that the audio is a crazy problem in this fight. It's that thing where, like I said, left and right, super clear. Front and back, exact same sound. Diagonal, it'll just sound like he's in front of or behind you. Like, it only is clear when he's exactly to your left or exactly to your right where he is. And those are not common situations. When I use the radar, it's disabled on hard mode. <laughs> you, there's no radar on hard mode. We're playing for the Fox rank. This is the last achievement I need for 100% is to get the Fox rank and it disables the radar to play on the difficulty you need to. There is no radar, which makes it so much worse. Anyway, it's about that time. Vulcan Raven Day will forever live up to its name. That was three and a half hours of Vulcan Raven. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did enjoy and you haven't done so already, feel free to go ahead and leave a sub, come back another time. We're doing this. Uh, we're doing, oh, what are we doing? I mean, I'm playing Tekken. I still have a Tekken addiction. Uh, so that's just whenever I do it. We've been doing S ranks on Devil May Cry. Elden Ring again, just kind of playing around before the DLC. Uh, Armored Core, Ace Combat. Speaking of Ace Combat, new video is up tomorrow morning. The usual time, 9 a.m. Central, for anyone who knows the time. Uh, if not, notification bell. Set it to all notifications. You definitely won't regret it. Um, what else am I supposed to say? Oh yeah, like stream if you enjoyed, blah, 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 blah. Uh, links in the description for Twitter, Discord server, whatever it is that you might be looking for, those are down there. Other than that though, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys back here next time. I hope you all have a great of your day. Thank you for coming to the stream. Goodbye.